Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we've had a bit of snow on the ground. I was hoping to get a couple of rides, a couple of winter rides in, but we've had some snow, we've had some salt on the ground. So I'm waiting for that to be washed away um, before, before I take the bike out, um, which I'm looking forward to doing a couple of uh, the colder colder rides and testing those, uh, the heated grips and the heated seat to its full potential. Um, but today, what I'd like to talk about is helmet sizes. So recently, me and my dad went to go and try some helmet sizes on, and we went to one of the biggest uh, motorcycle accessory places in the UK. Um, so we're in there, we're trying a few helmets on, and um, my, my dad's trying a few different brands on, and he tries this one on, and uh, it, it's too tight for his head, basically. Um, so the 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 guy that worked there just basically says, oh, try it on at a different size. So at this point, I've asked the guy for a tape measure. He's gone and fetched me one. I've measured his head. It came out at about 58 centimeters, I believe, which is a medium in helmet sizes. And I was, I was quite shocked on some of the bad advice that, that these people give you. So if you're buying a helmet for the first time, um, you know, his, his answer was, that, that worked in the shop to, to say if the helmet was too tight, you know, go go a size up, but it's not the case. You know, if if you're a size nine in a shoe, would you buy a 10 because they're too tight? No, you change the brand and it's the same with the helmets. So, um, so we picked out a couple of the helmets. I'd measured his head, is a medium, and and one or two brands that he tried on was wasn't fitting correctly, you know, and and they're just not the correct brand. So basically at the minute, I, I just sort of rotate between uh, two helmets. So sometimes if I'm out on the Street Fighter, I've got an X-Lite 803. Super impressed with this helmet. Absolutely mega light, matches the bike in nice, but fits really well. And my other one, my other one, which is now my new one, is the GT Air 2. Absolutely love it, fits fantastic again. Uh, showy don't make bad helmets they 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 make quality helmets but they do come at a premium price basically earlier on in the year i bought another x light helmet because i was super impressed with the 803 x light and i bought the 903 which is basically the touring one thinking it would be a, the perfect match and uh, i was quite quite shocked on on how uh, it didn't fit correctly. At the time I bought it, I thought it did. I thought it'd give a little bit like a lot of helmets do over over time. But to be honest, it was sort of pinching the top of the ears and that sort of never never went away. And um, unfortunately, I, I, I sold it as a, a big loss just to sort of get, get rid of it because I don't see the point in having it sat on the shelves if it doesn't fit correctly. So yeah, the top and bottom of it, guys, is is like if you're buying a helmet for the first time, or you you know you're upgrading, you know just just make sure you get the correct fit, get the correct brand for your head, and um, try them all on. And um, you do tend to find that the the premium ones are are going to be the better ones, unfortunately. But but you do get what you pay for. Um, yeah, and also do a little bit of research into it as well, and go you know make sure you allow a lot of time when you go to these places. I think buying buying helmets off the internet is probably not the best idea unless you truly know what you actually want. But go go to places where you can go try on a lot of helmets and 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 there's a lot of choice and and you know spend a bit of time there and get get the correct size. Um, I do think with the showy ones, um, if you buy them from from a from a dealership. Um, that, that specialises in the show ones. They'll also adapt the the cheek pieces as well, um, which is which is quite good. So they they will get the the, the perfect fit. But again, do your research where you go, because uh, some places they just don't know what they're talking about. Also, the other thing which uh, which was amazed by there was a guy in there that was also looking for a new helmet, and uh, they asked him how old his other helmet was that he was holding at the time, and uh, it was like fifteen years old. You know, and uh, I know people don't like to chuck these things away, and time does pass by so quick that you lose track of when you've bought things. Um, but the reality of it is, uh, you know, I personally would always follow the advice from the manufacturers, and if 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 they say, you know, change your helmet within five years, you know, regardless of what it looks like, then that's what I'll be doing. You know, and 
and five years like I say it does go past pretty quick sometimes but yeah you know those resins and the glues and everything will break down over time so from that safety aspect it's definitely worth upgrading so the answer to the question size does matter guys so pick the right helmet pick the right size get the brand that fits you correctly within your budget and uh, ride safe thanks for watching guys hope you like the video hit the likes hit the subscribes and we'll see you in the next one